Welcome! What is going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going, Dice Cheeses? Hadn't seen you in a bit. Nathan, Craig, Zombie with the Cold, Anthony, Unusual Gamer, Zelda. How's it going, guys? This is Breaking News with the Metal Gear Squad. That's right. Thank you, Craig. I love it, man. I'm so excited about having that. Yeah, Dice, what have you been up to, boo? Dude. I'm ready to get my metal gear on too, brother. Bandana return. That's right. All right, let's do this. song. I hate to bypass it, but I'm trying to get it to where we get to Metal Gear Solid 1 today. That would be awesome. Thank you, Exile. Metal Ridgeback 2. Solid Saw. Solid Saw. Hey, Jesse. Okay, we're on. Oh, yeah. Zelda, what happened to it? Is that 007 news at 007 o'clock? You know it. Keith, hey. Run. A street sweeper? A rolling pin? <laughs> oh, Gustavo! Snake! Doctor, you're alright! You've lost some weight, Madnar. And you haven't changed a bit, Snake. Snake, we must hurry! Dr. Marv is wounding. You mean Marv is still alive? <laughs> I thought I could escape through this passageway with the elevator wouldn't open from the inside. Gustava, you and the doctor get behind me. We're moving out. No, wait, Snake, I have something to give you. Let's fight it from a guard. It's card five. Lead the way, Snake. I'll follow you.
Yeah, Nathan. Random had G-Lay. Oh, man. Such a great game. Oh, my gosh. I love that game. Elijah Modnar. So cool. Nice, right? Snake, wait, I can't go on. I must rest a little. Snake? <laughs> All right, we'll take a short break. Please excuse me. I have some business to take care of. What well, well, it looks like, Nathan. Something similar. How old? Give the guy a break. He's an old man. He can't hold it in like he used to. No, I mean us. A world renowned scientist, a former Olympic athlete, and an ex special agent thriving together through a sewer. Fate can be funny sometimes. Fate? Yes, perhaps you're right. You know, when I was a little girl, my mother used to tell me stories. Yeah, but Poland during World War II, with the Warsaw Uprising, the mother spent days in the sewers under the city fleeing from the Nazis. Her skin and clothes were caked, black with mud. My mother and I are much alike. We are both haunted by war. Gustavo, why'd you quit skating and join STB? You think an Olympic medalist would get the royal treatment, even in the East? Thank you, Amy. I appreciate it. Not exactly. It was something about the ice. It felt... cold. The ice? Snake, are you married? No. I don't have a family. You? I'm all alone. And it's not because I like being single. Either. Perhaps I never had the chance. What about a boyfriend? David! <laughs> what the? <laughs> once. Only once. I thought about getting married. It was back while I was still skating. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Jason. <laughs> I was dabbly, madly in love. It still hurts to think about it. He was a Western man. His name was Frank Hunter. He was handsome, well-mannered, intelligent, but always afraid. I would have thrown it all away for him. My family, skating, everything. I would have followed him anywhere. You would have defected? Yes, but it was not meant to be. The rest rejected my bid for asylum at the last minute, for sort of political reasons. I still don't understand. Just <laughs> have a time. What's up, buddy? They probably just didn't have room for you. It happens all the time. Ever since... since my family and I have lived a nightmare. But that's not right to compete. We're branded as refuseniks. I had no choice but to go into STB. But I have no regrets. I mean regrets. <laughs> when I was on the ice, I knew only the ice. Now I know so. Now I know so much more. I've even killed a man. <laughs> David. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Refusenik, uh, like a refugee leaving without not meaning to, or leaving when they're not supposed to, or that kind of thing, like a refugee type thing. What about him? Did you ever? Thank you, Sir Baton. I appreciate it. I never saw him again. Our Berlin Wall was too high for either of us to climb. 
Hello again. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, Brett Phillips. That was some bathroom break. Let's go sneak. Got it. It's not, I don't think. I think it was just, he just had to go back and take a, a leak. I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. All right, here we go. A bridge. We can only cross it one at a time. Let me go first. I haven't got long to live anyway. No one will miss me if I fall. Ah, oh, McChief, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, McChief's boss. It's all right, you can come across. Okay, I'll go next. See you on the other side. It's safe, Snake. How do you cross over? <gasps> Gustavo! Gustava. Ah, snake. I knew I couldn't do it. Couldn't find my footing off the ice. I was always getting around. I never run to put it my two feet on the ground and walk. The ice is starting to thaw between the east and west. Gustave, it's time to start planting your feet on the ground. Take control of your life and start living. Gustave, live. Live, Gustave, live. <laughs> if Keith is here, Gustave, dot, 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 dot. Live. I wonder if he's even here. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Live, Gustava. That, 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 that. <laughs> Live. <laughs> Gustava, don't give up now. Nathan, I don't know. <laughs> it's too late for me. I've seen enough people die already to know that I'm beyond saving. I got blown up by a missile, and there's no way I can still be really talking to you, but this is a video game, so... Yeah. <laughs> Just my luck. I just wanted I'd been somewhat wonderful again. Hey Jason. Hey Jason. <laughs> I would have liked to see you skate again. Thank you. Thank you. It's card six. And this. 
It's my brooch. Can I use it, you? How? How do I use it? Uh, I can't hold on. Snake! Snake! Hey, destroy the man. Metal Gear? Snake! It's me, Gray Fox. Gray Fox. This bridge is closed. I'm taking Madnar with me. Tell you what, Snake, for old time's sake, I'll do you a favor and let you live if you get your sorry carcass out of here. You hear me? Go home, now. Think it over, Snake. <laughs> Box, you won't get rid of me that easily. They played us like a damn fiddle. Yes, this game's very underrated. Hey, Cobalt. Sorry, Gustava. Until next time. Oh. Snake, you remember the veranda in the tower building they used? For parachute jump training? If you have a hang glider, you can jump from there straight over the crevice. There should be a hang glider on the east side of the first floor of the Zanzibar building. I saw it once in Thanksgiving. See ya! Thanks. <sighs> How you doing, Jack? Alright, so I don't even need any of those. High five. But no one can stop you now. I'm great, Jack. Thank you for asking, buddy. Okay, I'm good there. Alright, B unit. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, that's not bad. I need to make sure I get lots of those later on for reasons. ZL item, it is a brooch. And David's, if you're able to stay tuned, you're, you're going to see something that's going to blow your mind. You're like, Metal Gear Solid? I thought it was the first to innovate something like this. It's, it's something that it breaks. It's it's very very cool. Hey, Mythos. Okay, Nathan. Y'all yeah, be streaming later tonight. If I beat this, hopefully soon, I'll be streaming Metal Gear Solid One full story playthrough, going through all the codex and everything, and determining Meryl's fate through donations is what we'll be doing, like we like we usually do for these types of big events. Mythos, it's good, man. How are you doing? Yeah, the old model. It's something. Okay, David. Then you'll be able to see it. Damn it! Got him. Sounds good, Nathan. Hey, Kyle. What's up, buddy? How are you doing today? Mythos, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I wish. Hey, Sean. Good morning, sir. Nice, Kyle. Sweet. Hey, Stuart. How you doing, buddy? Da -da 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 -da. 
Those that got to watch me play the original Metal Gear and then watch this, yeah, I meant those. I wish, but it's not gonna happen. I just have, I don't have, I don't have high hopes for that, at least. If they would port this game to the Switch, or you know, oh, oh god, wasn't paying attention. Easy. Can't remember what's in here. I don't need any of that. Oh. And that would be huge for my channel if they would do something like that, but it's not going to happen. Metal Gear is over and done with. So, Chief, I know, Sean, this music is so freaking good. David, <laughs> they're pretty bad, aren't they? They're pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not playing that game. I mean, not only it's just not only is just maybe it's just if people like that game, that's fine in of itself. But it's not a Metal Gear game, and also those types of games, those types of survival games, and Metal Gear Survive is like Ark. It's kind of like the Ark or um, any other things like that. Um, those are just not my cup of tea. Oh, Kyle's being silly, of course. Oh, I, he knows. I know he's trolling, for sure. Card. People still play Survive? Uh, I don't even know if they do, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> word, Kai, word. What's everyone got going on today? He's chilling, nice. Hey, look, it's the decoys. And having a few drinks. All right, cool, dude. I can tell because on the radar he's blinking, so I knew. That was an actual guy instead of just a decoy. Oh, yeah, Cobalt, no doubt. How could I forget such a great game? Was I? Ass in. Oh, Sean. Shots fired. I don't even think I need to go. Need to go. Yeah, okay. 
Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Or thinking in my head. So I guess I really wasn't thinking out loud. I'm just sitting there in silence. The song of silence. A zero snake. <laughs> David, right? Really, Sean? Did you just look at it? Nothing here. Hey, Crazy Kush, how you doing today? There's somebody there. Nothing here. Good to see you, yo. I'm great, Crazy. Thank you. It's this one than the other one. I think it might be the other one. Can't remember. Maybe it's this one. It's been a little bit. Oh yeah, this is right. Snake. Snake, it's me, Gray Fox. Fox! You should have listened to my warning, Snake. Now I'm afraid our friendship is at an end. That elevator is going to be your tomb. What? Do you hear that sound? That's an assassination team. They specialize in confined spaces. I'm sure you'll put up a good fight. The ceiling! It was nice talking to you one last time, Snake. Over and out. We are the Four Horsemen. A top secret assassination squad. We get our orders directly from the president. Consider this an honor. We only fry the big fish. All right, bring it. No damage run, baby. Fatality. 
You're pretty good. <laughs> Bombing oh, cheap, nice. Hey, David, so for those that have played regular Metal Gear Solid, like a lot of people have said that Metal Gear Solid 1 is just uh, a 3D remake of this game. And there's so many reasons that show that. That, that. that elevator part is in it, is in Metal Gear Solid. But the four people come in, they have the stealth camouflages on. Um, you've got... Um, Oh, I'm just thinking out. I'm thinking. There's other things. That's a big thing right there. It's just like, uh, there's gonna be a stair sequence here in a little bit that's gonna... Dang it. Yep. Just always like Meryl and Naomi combined. Yep. Yeah, Sean. Look out, Stay. The guys who stole my suits are in there with you. No, David, I get it. I can, and, and the thing is, this was not in the United States at the time. So, a lot of people in the United States have never even seen any of that. So, I mean, I don't blame him at all, either. I'm just letting you know. Oh man. Where is this where I go? I can't remember, because that's broken. I think this is what I do. Good to see you, T Re Boy. If money was not a concern, mm. McChief, no. I was supposed to work in the clinic today. This it's been really slow. We're working in the clinic. This is very, very rare. This usually never happens, but the census is really low, so they've had to they've had to flex me off. So this is my job today. This is my job today, McChief. I teach Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. He's a work in the clinic. Sometimes maybe Monday mornings, and then Wednesdays, Fridays, and sometimes Saturday. And then this. Hey, probably... This is just me. Jeep, Jeep Grand Cherokee. I love those for some reason. I don't know why. Love Daddy would say, blah, da, 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 but... <laughs> anyway, I like them. But I'm not going to get one of those right now or anything like that. I'm just, I got a car that's paid for. I don't know why. I just always liked them. Just the way they felt. I don't know why, though. I'm sure you could change my mind. RX-8, nice. Here's that stair sequence. That's right, Sean. Metal Gear. Well, Ura, it, pretty much, but it's an inpatient, ho inpatient rehab hospital. So it's not like I say the clinic, but it's a it's a rehab hospital. So I mean, it's very rare that it's that low. But usually, whenever it happens, it's this time of the year. So 
But it'll pick back up, and they'll be asking me to do extra shifts. So I'm not. It'll it'll pick back up. I'm not worried about it. It always evens out. The more I stress about it now, if I start stressing about it now, it's just it's just it's just energy wasted. Right? Yeah. See on uh, see for outpatient, that's usually the case, but. I work even uh, even though I'm as needed there I'm needed all the time and you make make a consider a bit amount of m more money doing it that way I don't have to worry about benefits so much because my wife gets that so and it allows me to do other things that I enjoy doing such as teaching and um, other things they work at two different places. Yeah, I work. There's a see there, and I also work at another facility too. There's an, I have other options. There's another place that I can work at too, but they're not they're not needing me right now either. So, which is okay. Correct, David. Outpatient means that they come in from home and get and leave afterwards. They're not staying there. Correct. Hey, Paul, what's up? Hey, Uber, do you still see that you still have your moderator status? Over on Twitch. <laughs> hey, whenever you're here, man, I could use you. Good to see you, Poe. What you up to, yo? Good to see you. Via Via! What up, Via Via? Just a box. All right, Poe. What are we what are we working out in the gym today? Uh, cardio, some more. Then some more cardio, yo. <laughs> Anthony, have you played it? Yeah, well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, my YouTube success has definitely been really good. What was that noise? What was that just now? Anthony, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ura kinda, but I never grew f I never grew fast on that, so never heard of I never even heard of that one. Ura caffeine, never heard of that one. Yeah. I looked into Mixer, but I was starting to spread myself thin, and I was starting to really pick up steam on YouTube, and a lot. And that's it's a widely known type of area, so I figured my my growth on YouTube has been the best for sure. So I just don't need to spread myself thin. But I did look that I did look there. It just it probably didn't help because I was playing Mass Effect, but I just don't feel like spreading myself thin. At this point, what is caffeine like? <laughs> Cardio, abs, shoulders, chest, and squats. Dang, Poe, how long are you gonna be at? Th a thousand people watching, you mean? <laughs> or a thousand, or a thousand people following? Suck it.
Okay. Yeah, I've never even heard of it. <sighs> Got him. On the home page, you ever got you. Yeah, I don't think I would get there. It's oh yeah. It's me, your number one fan. You can only jump there. When the wind's blowing north. It usually blows south, and sometimes it changes just for an instant. That's your chance. Don't miss it. Keep up the good work. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. I've been doing that with my son. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and... Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Boom. Knees and toes! That <laughs> shit. Oh, pretty much. He's a son to all of us. That's right. Okay, he's. Re I don't know. Probably chicken. <laughs> chicken burrito. With guacamole. Reef fried beans sometimes. Rice. What about you? Alright, David. Alright. So one of the things here, remember you said that the wind has to blow north, so the way that you figure that out is you have to stand here and you have to smoke your cigarettes for a little bit. And then you'll see him actually puff his cigarette. Now you know it's going north. Hey, so box. The Diego Adontis. Thank you so much for the sub. Or the following. Thanks for coming into the Pudge 007 Agency channel, my friend. Remember, you only get one life to live, baby. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Uber, what do you put in yours, bruh? Oh, carnitas is good. Yes. Ura, I love carnitas. Ah, oh, so good. It's so 80s. Yeah, if I go like to... Um... Chipotle, that's what I get every time, Uber, is the carnitas. Hey, TJ, thanks for the alert, buddy. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Yeah, slowest hang glider ever. I've been waiting for you, Snake. I am Jungle Evil, the undisputed master of the jungle ambush. So, box kind of sorta. We were talking about that earlier, but yeah, there's a lot of the similarities. Ton of similarities. I see whether you're a real snake or not. A different story, but gameplay-wise, it's very, very similar.
Yeah. Sean Conda. Yeah. Ow. Dude. I'm camping, bro. Stupid camper. Thank you, Anthony. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Nothing to see here. It's not going to work because I got to get them moving. You can get every game on the PlayStation 3. I think. Yes. It's possible. Depends on how big, depends on how big your hard drive is, but it's possible. Because you can get this game in Metal Gear 1 on the MGS3, which is part of the HD collection. So, and then you can do 1 as a digital download on PS3. So that's 1, 2, 3. Then 4 is on PS Plus right now. You can get that as a digital download. GG for that. That's 4. And then V is actually, you can play it on PS3 or PS4. So you can actually download that on PS3. It's not as good, obviously, but... Uh, so Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain, yeah, so, yeah, you can get every, oh, and Peace Walker, which is part of the HD collection, so you can get every canon game on the PS3, that is possible. The Definitive Edition, of course, which has both of them, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, Anthony, exactly. Now, you can't go this way. Yeah, I'm talking about cannon. Now, you can get this egg. There's two different eggs. Yeah, so box. It looks so... It's got Shinkawa's artwork. Shinkawa's artwork is so good. So, the one on the right is actually a snake, and this one's an owl. If you get the snake later on, it'll come in and eat your items. That's why I didn't grab it. You have to wait for this to hatch, though. Kind of silly, but it is what it is. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Good. 
Like Reese from the Terminator sub box, he did in the original artwork. In Metal Gear 1, and this one he looks like Mel Gibson. He looks like Mel Gibson in this one. Big Boss looked like uh, Sean Connery. And the Colonel Campbell looked like the guy, the Colonel that was from Rambo. I don't know. I, th I don't know. Looking like Mel Gibson, the way that he did his hair is kind of silly. It is what it is. Good. Be unit. Pretty much so. Pretty much. Hi, <laughs> right, you too, Metal Gear Peace. How you doing? Now, this kind of gives you a clue of what to do this next part. They keep the animals in a room northwest of here. I hear owls at night. It's so scary, I can't sleep. No, what? At night, they turn off the power, so all the laser fences get turned off, too. Then we get to play inside as long as the grown-ups don't catch us. Which is so weird that they do that. But anyway, there's that. So you, those clues help you how to open this. So let's get this thing hatched. It should be an owl. And what happens is if you keep it open, and you keep the owl with you, it'll hoot. And they'll be like, oh, it's night. And they turn the, they turn the laser thing off. So silly. That's how you do it. Took me forever to figure that out. Forever. Yeah. So silly. Come on, Al. Hoot. Hoot for me, Hill. Hoot. There we go. Hey, it's getting late. Yeah, David. <laughs> Come on, now. It's a video game. Thanks, Al. The box, yeah, me too. Me too. You're just gonna stay there. There might be a chocolate thing up here. <laughs> David, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Absolute, what up, buddy? Nothing to see here. <laughs> Cooking breakfast? Nice. What's for breakfast today, Absolute? A little Easter egg in this room. If you look at the, if you look at the radar, and look at it's the two for the Metal Gear Two game. <laughs> yeah. Hash browns and eggs, a toast and bagel, not with orange juice. That sounds awesome. Nice. This room shaped in the in the shape of a two. Pretty neat. What was that noise?
went on to become generals. <laughs> It's me, your number one fan, Snake. Watch yourself. You've got company. Night Fright's the last surviving member of the Whispers. You know, the legendary Gorilla Unit. Night Fright. He's wearing a state-of-the-art camouflage suit that makes him practically invisible. Not only that, He'll attack you with a gun that's completely silent. No one has ever seen his face. You know what you have to do, right? Lucky me. I've got a fan club. Use your ears, Snake. Over and out. Boom. Suck it. Now if you hit those, nothing that tells you, but if you hit those right there, it'll kill you instantly. That's acid. <laughs> David. How to deal with sulfuric acid? Hmm, let's see. You could neutralize if you had something with caustic soda in it. I got it. You got any chocolate on you? That ought to do the trick. If your gas reacts with the sugar and chocolate to produce carbon in a rubbery substance, C12H22O11. Table sugar. See if you can find some chocolate over and out. So that's what you got to do. Chocolate. So you got to use these rations that have chocolate in it and then run over them and it'll be good. Kira, hey, more Broco. How you doing? What happened last night? What do you mean? Yeah, because I remember when I did that at first, I was like, what the hell happened? And none of these cards work, because you need card nine. <laughs> yeah, Kira, I stopped it. I told, I, I, yeah, I mean, I can't stay up 24 hours a day. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> you should be able to get card nine from Jungle Evil. Don't you mean card eight? He only had card eight. No, he was in charge of cards eight and nine. <laughs> He must have dropped it somewhere. Check the area he was in. The car should be there. Keep up the good work. What are you up today, Kiro? His game is silly. It is silly, but I love it. It is silly, but I love it.
And we're about to have a big backtracking episode. Lots of backtracking about to happen, just like you're going back to get the PSG1. I know, man. That's why I love it. The silly stuff makes it. Because it's one of those things like it's a serious game, but it also does stuff like that to remind you it's just a game. I appreciate that. He talks about that kind of stuff. Kojima does. He's like, he wants stuff to be serious, but he still wants it to be fun where people remember it's a game. Don't worry, it's a game. It's a game, just like usual. <laughs> hey, gaming. I'm good. How are you doing, man? How are things going with you, my brother? Welcome back, Zelda. I can't remember if this is the one that takes it or not. No, nope, that's where we. That's where. That's the ink. The outgoing, not the ingoing. Thank you, David. I just haven't been able to do. It's, this isn't going to be very common, but it's just the way that it's happened to be this week. Probably a bit easier time-wise for you to be able to come in, isn't it? You were up all night doing what? Doing your VR stuff? I'm glad you appreciate it, David. Oh, I gotta look. I gotta look for card nine anyway. Be sure to do that. Well, David, I, I've kind of been having to do that because of my son. I've been having to start streams later because I've got to take care of my son. He's a priority, you know. You're not wrong about that. I've had to start him later. So that's the only way I can still stream. If not, then I'd have to just quit. I don't plan, and I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. I don't plan on quitting anytime soon. Okay, you're set to go. <laughs> Scared me to death. Are you wondering which one? Let me see. Oh, okay, what's up? No, there's another one. There's, um, right by the donuts, there's a paper sack. Or not paper sack, but a plastic sack that's wrapped in. I was separated to make sure I knew which. That one's mine. That was out. Yeah. I know I'm about to take it. I just smelled it a little. I'll take it out. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna leave here in a maybe at least here in a couple of hours to go pick up. Gosh, she was just standing there too, like staring at me. <laughs> she did it again. <laughs> yeah, that was my wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bo. She was like she's like leaning on the computer like so here's I have like my screen's here, my my desktop, my streaming desktop is on top of the desk, and she's like leaning on top of it like this. And I'm just kind of looking or whatever, and she'll lean over, and I kind of look up, and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> no, Kira, I did come back. I did. When I said, I, said I'd come back, I did come back. Oh, <laughs> LR. I did come back. For those that were here, I did come back. Sean was here, I think, maybe. 
I didn't get to come back for very, very long, but I did. <laughs> yeah, she did. My gosh. Mr. X, then. Hey, one unit. Yeah, I did come back. Haha, <laughs> boss is 69. You're having trouble with YouTube? Okay. That boss is 69, baby. Ooh. Meow. How you doing today, buddy? Da -da 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 -da. Nothing here. Oh, pretty much. Leave me alone. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, what did I do? What did I say? <laughs> I don't even know what I did. Oh, no, not you. <laughs> no, the guy on the game, he ran into a mine. Not you. <laughs> no, I'm sorry if you came across that way. No, I'm talking, the guy ran into a mine on the game. And I called him a dumbass. <laughs> I know, Boston. Oh, man, the music in this game is so good. Oh, I'm doing all this. I can't do this yet. I'm backtracking when I don't need to. Damn. We'll just do this. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll work. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Poe. <laughs> Nothing to see here. You're my first victim. <laughs> Kira, who's she's kidding? He's not here. Little gear. I'll be back. All right, David. I can't remember if I can do this thing or not yet, but we're going to try it. Yeah, she's very mean. I mean, my gosh. Arnold. TJ. Mm -mm. Fourth floor.
TJ, did she really? <laughs> She's using them powers. I did not. Come the sons of liberty. Want to know a secret? You know Gustavus Baruch, it changes shape when you put it in the sauna or in the freezer. That's this right here. Pretty cool. If you catch a cold, go to the infirmary and they'll give you some medicine. I'll just go ahead and do all this here. Since I'm already here. Bring the hammer, bring the hammer of dawn. All right, see you, cook, crazy Kush. Ah, oh, you found me. We're playing hide and seek. Gosh, there you are. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it sounds like in real life. Yeah, exactly. Eh, I just wait on it. This is a little extra, which is fine. So, guys. Metal Gear Solid 1 tonight. Y'all ready? For the goat? What will Meryl's fate be? We'll see what y'all determine her fate to be. This time. Is ready. Yeah, Poe. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it is. Metal Goat Solid. <laughs> it's right. Massive Goat Sacrifices. There it is. All right, did y'all see? The brooch now it's in the shape of a key. It's not the one exactly that we want. We can use it to get something that's a little extra, which is kind of cool. And there's some cold medicine up there, but I'm not even going to get that. I'm not even going to worry about it. went too far. Tactical sacrifice action. <laughs> oh, Poe, you know it does. Poe, you're the reason why it gets that way. <laughs> Poe, I'm not even going to say exactly, but she, she did something, and then she goes, I'm late. She's like, I'm gone. <laughs> she left for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean she was like, uh, cassette tape. So we got cassette tape now. Now if you ever, if you listen to this tape, it isn't Gustavus Locker. It contains a recording of Zendibar Land's national anthem. If you do that, yeah, Metal Gear piece. So anytime if you're holding this, they have to stand attention. Attention! <laughs> I 
It's like in their law that they have to stand attention. So silly. Hey, random. You're gonna miss my stream? You talking about tonight, Kira? Dungeon. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, how you doing, random? So good to see you. In an hour. Okay, until, but then what about tonight, though, Kira? <sighs> Which is okay if you can. I just, just I won't be doing Middle Gear Solid till later this evening. Probably between 7... Oh, God. 7.30 to... 8.30-ish. That's usually about when my son gets to sleep. That's right. You stay there. Nothing to see here. <laughs> That's so silly. 7.30 to 8.30... David, come on, what? David, what? Yeah, it's the de it's a decoy. It's where a lot of the decoys are. Is what it is. Yeah, I mean that's what it's supposed to be. Seven Central. Okay, nice. Now they're already frozen. Ugh. Watch the brutes change shape. Yeah, so you may or may not be able to. Alright, so it's a different shape now. So, so David, notice that the brutes change shape depending on the temperature, right? What does that remind you of? Or anyone else in here? What does, it, what does that remind you of? Yep, the PAL key in MGS1, exactly. They'd already thought about that kind of stuff. The memory alloy. Yep, yep, yep. The PAL key. The PAL card. Exactly. What? I deactivated it. Thank you, Snake. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Okay, here we go. Stand attention. Leave me alone. Yeah, Sean. Memory alloy business. Yes, man, a lot. That's, I was, I was, that's, my, that's one of my points I was making. That a lot of people say this is like a spirit, re, a spiritual remake. Our Metal Gear Solid 1 is a spiritual remake of this game, and I can't really disagree. I mean, the story's different, but a lot of the stuff's the same.
JT, yeah, me too, man. It's not the original one that came out right when it was released, but the one that I have, I still have it. No, Poe, and I never want to. It looks disgusting. Ugh. I never, I've never seen it, and I don't plan on ever watching it. Makes me sick just even thinking about it. South Park version. Ugh. Gross, gross, gross. I think it's a movie. Pretty sure it's a movie. Yeah, I can only imagine it made you feel ill. Yeah, I never want to watch that movie. Ugh. So sick. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh, if that doesn't make you feel ill, then... Man, are you even human? What's wrong with you? Run! Thank you, Junette. I'm great. How are you? <sighs> run! Run, 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 run! The voice of the boss speaks to me. Run, run! Run! Rum, rum. Oh, I played it too many times. I never knew it could run out. I never knew that. <laughs> it ran out. I never knew it could do that. I was just spamming the heck out of that. I never knew that. <laughs> That's crazy. I was wondering why it sounded odd. It's because I played it too many times. Yeah, Poe. Uh, rum, rum, rum. <laughs> Poe. <laughs> rum. Oh, you got this, yo. Get out of here. Oh, no. She's from Hawaii, yo. Yeah, Random's awesome. I'm so glad to see you again. Yeah. Right, Mr. X coming in. X gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. <laughs> yeah, more. Which game are you talking about? Run! Come on! Come on! 
Hey, random, I, I, hey, you do what you gotta do, homie. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Taking you with me. <laughs> if I'm going down, you're taking you with me. Get it? Because it was, you know, I went down in the elevator, going down and taking you with me. Get it? Get it, get it, get it. Who would it be? Gosh, I don't know. Nathan Drake is an amazing character. Solid Snake's a great character. Mega Man is awesome. Ah, Snake, your two ladies already passed away. Random Haji, random Hajile, is that what it is? Yeah, random Hajile. It's hard, couldn't take it anymore. David, right? There you go, Poe. Wait, what's that bruise on his neck? Not to worry, Snake. Marv may be dead, but the plans for Orlix are safe. Marv was a very clever, careful man. He left behind a copy of the plans in case of emergency. He had a reputation as a video game enthusiast. He even used to have them shipped to him from the West every month. A few days ago, he hid some microfilm on the circuit board of one of his game cartridges. It was an MSX cartridge made by a Japanese company called Konami. Boo! MSX, that's the world's best-selling brand of computer, isn't it? Then he hid the cartridge inside that locker. Where's the key? I don't know, I couldn't get it out of him. I mean, he never told me. Holly, what's wrong? Snake, it's Madnar. I thought there was something strange about him. So I had the agency, the Pudge 007 agency, check him out. After he was rescued from outer heaven, apparently things didn't go well for him. His medical theories were rejected in the West. He was dismissed as a madman and shut out from the scientific community. And as time went on, he was forgotten. Madnar wasn't exactly happy with the scientific community either. He must have been searching for some way to get back at them. That's when Zanzibar Land talked him to becoming a double agent. He used his status as a scientist to feed technological secrets from the east and west of Zanzibar Land. And Dr. Marv's disappearance? Right, the timing is too perfect. Madnar must have given them every detail of Marv's itinerary in the U.S. Madnar was after oil leaks all along. That's why he wanted to go to America with Marv. I'm afraid you've got me, Snake. I gave up everything to be a part of your world, even the country I was born and raised in. They are, David, but I love it. They're so fun. <laughs> but your world had nothing but contempt and abuse for me. I just wanted to finish Metal Gear. It is the culmination of all my life's work in robotology. But your politicians were only interested in nonsense like SDI, NEDW, and brain bombs. I passed on the scientific secrets of the East and the West of Zanzibar land. And in return, they aided me in my efforts to improve Metal Gear. Madnar, did you kill Dr. Marv? Yes, he would not share the secret of Oilix with me. 
And it was I who caused Gustavo's death on the bridge by contacting Fox from the sewer. The bathroom break. Snake, I know Marv. No, Gustavo. Gave you the key to the locker. Give it to me. I can't breathe. Can't breathe. Boom. He doesn't know CQC any yet. Sweet. It did work. <laughs> Snake, remember the basics of CQC. I don't remember. I'll get choked out by this dude and use some... <laughs> and I'm going to use some mines instead. <laughs> TJ, not necessarily, but it not necessarily because I didn't, but it it enriches your understanding. TJ. But no. I didn't say you had to play these first. You don't have to. Now, if I'd say MGSV, I would say you should play everything else before that. It would definitely help. Jeez. So, if you don't do this, so, there's some mice in there, and if they even just touch you, they kill you. Yes, David, that is true. They're like some crazy mice. So, this is what you have to do. He's going to tell you right here. Why does Fox Sun use animals for cold names? Anyway, who came up with the idea that animals are so warlike? People, yeah, that's not what I needed. Plague mice. Yeah, well, anyway, this is the way you're supposed to do it, so... Cheese, cheese, they mice like cheese, so you lure them with cheese. Maybe Mr. M Master Miller says something about it. Anyway, so, then they come out one by one. And then they'll come out. They'll follow you. You have the cheese. And you can shoot them. See him retro's downward thrust raid. Whoa! Am I being raided? Cabot. Downward thrust raid. <laughs> Cabot. Welcome, Cabot. There's a lot of mice. Poisonous hamsters, yeah. But how do they taste? He's playing Zelda 2. Is he playing? Is he here? Is he in Retro here? Did y'all raid? I'm just making sure. Did y'all come over here and raid me? I'm just making sure. I just saw you, so I'm just making sure. S Snake. Snake. It's poison. <laughs> Snake, he'll never let you get away. He'll use it. He'll use Metal Gear. <coughs> I have one last gift for my daughter, Ellen. Okay, Cabot. I'll wait for him at least. I'll tell you how to destroy it. How to destroy Metal Gear? Try as I might, I could not reconcile East and West in my heart of hearts. But Ellen is different, Snake. You must do this for Ellen, the daughter I left behind. How do I destroy Metal Gear? Alright, see you, Random. I sure will, Random. PJ, some kisses from you. The armor is tennis on the legs. Use grenades on the legs. It is the only way.
Cabot, thanks for the sub and thanks for coming into the Pudge 007 Agency channel, my friend. Remember, Cabot, you only get one life to live, baby. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. The final delusion of a senile old man. There's no way to destroy this Metal Gear snake. Fox, where are you? Come and find out, snake. Go through the front door. Okay. I don't know if CM Retro has done it yet, but Cabot, I guess, and that's your new. But is he still is is Retro still streaming? Or what? Hold on. Yeah, I mean, I see him. He's not streaming yet. But yeah, I mean, if he did, I mean, if he did raid, thank you so much, dude. Let's go ahead and let's just play, let's play it. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Hold on. Henry Gonzalez, thanks for the sub, and thanks for coming in. And remember, you only get one life to live, baby. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. He just beat it nice. Well, I'm going to just, I'm going to do my little spiel. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Cabot, I'm guessing Henry. Welcome, welcome. And Sam Retro Games, thank you so much for that raid. You're pretty good. Appreciate it. That's cool. Zelda 2. I've never played Zelda 2. Was it, did you, was it fun? It's a big boy. Snake, I'm not the same as I used to be, and neither is Metal Gear. Oops. Thank you, dog. I'll show you what fear really is. Prepare to taste your feet. Yeah, I love Daddy. I never have. <laughs> Sean. It's already active. Yeah, I love Daddy. I haven't played Zelda 2. Mm, the concert is mine, Snake. Burn in hell. Snake, your items are on fire. Throw away all your weapons and equipment. Quickly, use the circle button. I haven't played Castlevania. I know. There's a lot of stuff I gotta do this year. I know, Cab, it's so good, isn't it? Metal Gear 2 is so good. I oh, know, I'm terrible. Q mm. Dog? Hey. You just being here is great. If you wanted to give me that much money, Q-Dog, I wouldn't argue with you. 
Cabot, that's exactly what it is. I know, Andrew. Where am I? The perfect ring for our final battle. Someone's calling with no color ID. I'm not answering that. It's been a while, Snake. Here we are, back in the minefield. What say we go at it? Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Or, let's try this again. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Chicken fight. The two greatest rivals in Fox Sound. I've been waiting this moment for this moment for a long time. Did you love Daddy? Fox, I'll beat some sense back into you. I know, right, Cabot? Snake, it's time for you to learn why they call me Fox. Gray Fox, real name Frank Yeager, former member of Foxhound. Who was the last man to hold the title of Fox in the Big Boss era, decorated five times. Yeah, I know about how good he is, better than anyone else. I fought with him. He's a cold-blooded hunter. He never lets his prey escape. Everybody in the unit respected him, looked up to him. That may be Snake, but do you know about his past? It might help you out. Ten years ago, we in the mercenary trade knew him as Hunter. That's what Jaeger means in German. Back then, he was involved with some woman from the Eastern Bloc. He tried to get her to come over the fence, but all fell through. Apparently, the West wasn't interested in taking her. That's when Frank started to hate the Politicos. What was the woman's name? She was an Olympic skater. Her name was Gustava Hefner. Real fine woman, movie star type. Gustava Hefner? Snake, if you manage to beat Fox, I'll tell everyone that Solid Snake is the greatest mercenary in the world. Over and out. It's a revolver around this room. Yeah. Revolver. This, this theme right here is so good. Just listen. So good. Ah, so good. Snake. Looks like it's finally time for me to give up the title of Fox. Fox, why? I'm not like you, Snake. My situation is more... complicated. Big of us might have just been another CO to you, but he saved my life twice. This was way before I joined the unit. The first time I was a half white living in Vietnam. It was after the war, and half whites were being sent into forced labor camps. He saved me from that living hell, just like he saved all the children here. The second time was in Mozambique. I was being tortured as a Renamo soldier, and he saved me again. They cut off my ears and my nose. And this is your idea of paying him back? No, you've got it wrong. I hate war, just like all the kids here, but I need it. War is all we know. We can't make it in the normal world. We need the battlefield to survive. Poe, oh, what the hell? David, shut up. I don't need a. I don't give a fox. <laughs> Cabot, that's good. I don't give a flying fox. Wow, Poe, that's weird. 
Big Boss gives us a place to fight. Conflict is in our blood. We can't deny it. I was born on the battlefield, and I'll die on the battlefield. All I can do is fight, Snake. All I can do is fight. <laughs> making people happy, making a woman happy is something I could never do. You mean? Guess I was always fated to die in action. Rest easy, Fox. I swear I won't turn out like you. Won't turn out like me. <laughs> I'll have to remember that. Fight hard, Snake. Don't let your fans down. My fans? It was you, wasn't it? You were the voice on the radio. Call it payback for being so selfish. See you on the other side, Snake. You won't be alone, Frank. Gustav is waiting for you. Because you killed her. You dumbass. Gustav? Thank you, Snake. Fox, I mean, Love Daddy, he was a flying fox. And now he's a dying fox. Over here, Snake. Over here, Snake. Big boss, you're alive. <clears throat> Snake, welcome to Zanzibar land. I knew you'd come back to me. <clears throat> I came to get rid of the nightmares I've been having for the past three years. The nightmares? They never go away, Snake. Once you've been on the battlefield, tasted the exhilaration, the tension. Well, Cabot, it's actually an MSX cartridge, but I digress. <laughs> I digress. It all becomes part of you. Once you've awakened the warrior within. Thank you, Dreamy. Have a good one, buddy. You crave ever bigger tensions, ever bigger thrills. As a mercenary, I think you would have realized that by now. You care nothing for power or money. Or even sex. The only thing that satisfies your cravings is war. All I've done is give you a place for it. I've given you a reason to live. I never would have made you for such a hypocrite, big boss. You saw those children, didn't you? Everyone is a victim of a war somewhere in the world. And they'll make fine soldiers in the next war. Yeah, Andrew, I saw. Andrew, why were you talking about Twitter? Oh, 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 because oh, you were talking about... Never mind. Haven't Twittered? Eight years. <clears throat> Start a war, fan its flames, create victims, then save them, train them, and feed them back onto the battlefield. Man, you're just plumb evil now, big boss. It's a perfectly logical system. In this world of ours, conflict never ends, and neither does our purpose. Raison de terre. So there's plenty of job opportunities. Is that what you're trying to say? On the battlefield, you and I are valuable commodities, but back home, we're nothing but dead weight. If we're lucky, we might get the attention of some two-bit journalist from a cheap tabloid. You and I are doomed to remain here until we die like dogs on the battlefield. I've only got one fight left to free myself from your grip, to rid myself of those nightmares. Big Boss, I will defeat you. <laughs> it doesn't matter who wins here. Our fight will continue. The loser will be liberated from the battlefield, and the winner will remain. Which, that sounds, if you played MGS3, which chronologically is first in the game, Big Boss, who's Naked Snake, this is what, something similar to what the boss tells Big Boss before he kills her. Kind of neat there. And the survivor will live out the rest of his days as a soldier. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm not like you. I love life! Very well, Snake. I'll release you from your suffering. As your former commander, I'll do you one last favor. And put you out of your misery. Cabot, he sure is. I don't need any more favors from you. 
Really? <laughs> Just how do you expect to beat me in your condition? <laughs> With no weapon? Never give up. Fight until the end. Always believe you will succeed. Even when the odds are against you. Those are your words. Even I make mistakes from time to time. Snake, this will be our final battle. Let's end this once and for all. box yeah yeah part one car dabby <laughs> not be yet <laughs> ow to very interesting fight for sure R3 Cabot, that is rude. How wooed. How wooed. You ever watch Full House? I'm sure, maybe. Alright. Dreamy, see you, buddy. Alright, see you later. Hope. get that I think it's the spray You're not using your open flames that and the lighter then you can just do a big old flame how you doing hey darkest how you doing buddy It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Snake. <laughs> 
Freeze! It's okay! It's me, Snake! Holly! Did I scare you? <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one. So, what's going on? What are you doing here? You said it yourself. Stay alive and we'll meet again sometime. So I did. <laughs> the uniform was too tight in the chest. I feel so much better now. <laughs> and Snake goes, damn! <laughs> Here, I saw this gun from the enemy. You can have it. Yeah, I can see how it'd be hard for a woman to use. Thanks. Hey, Snake, that's sexist. So it's all over now, right, Snake? Hey, Vienna BR. <laughs> David, no, I still have one more job to do. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious, Holly. Snake, no, you can't. <laughs> you want me to call you a cab? Oh my god, that wasn't funny, Snake. I think that's a... The joke is kind of lost in translation. It's not translated very well. I think what's going on there is she thinks that Snake is going to kill her. It's like for like no witnesses or whatever like that. And that's why I said call a cab or something. So that's what she was saying. I think that's what's going on, but it's not translated very well. So, or you can't see any gestures or why that's going on. So, interesting. Anyway. This is Snake. Come in, Charlie. Oh, man, this is actually a good idea. Hold on. I didn't think about this. Hold on. I got something. I got something. Oh, what's it called? La 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 la. Yeah, let's try that. Cop walkie talkie. I'm gonna try this and see if it works. Just a second. I'll right, see if it works. Hold on. See if I can hear. Charlie. Go ahead, Snake. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Oh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I was checking. <laughs> this room is loud. I've got the cartridge. I'm ready to return to base. Making my way to the rendezvous point now. Roger that. I'll meet you there. Any passengers? Just one. Blonde. With a cute face. Sounds like a dream. Over and out. That's right, MKL. That's right.
Heck you, dog. That's right. Holly, we've got to run as fast as we can to the rendezvous point. Think you can keep up? Is that a proposition, Snake? Hey, Chris. I'll take that as a yes. Let's go. I'm great, Chris. Good to see you, buddy. What the hell is taking you so long? We're going to be here till Christmas. This is Charlie. I'm 10 kilometers from the rendezvous point. Out a little longer, over and out. Hurry! Damn it, I'm out of ammo. Sneak. Yeah. It's the chopper, we're saved. Charlie, you're late. Sorry, man, I didn't want to disturb you two lovebirds. Think we'll be home in time for Christmas? We'll be home in time for dinner, Snake. Let's go then. I'm looking forward to Christmas dinner. I'm sick of these rations. Cute dog, I know, right? Alan, Alan Itis. Yeah, Alan, for Metal Gear 1, it was Kyle Reese from the original Terminator, yes. Metal Gear 2, the the first one, it was uh, based off of Mel Gibson. Yeah, home in time for dinner. I'm great, Chris. Oh yeah, with with uh, Iroquois Pliskin, yeah, yeah, Cabot, exactly, yeah, Cabot. So, Cabot, I don't know if you know this, but the original two Metal Gear games that were in apparent the main ones, Metal Gear and Metal Gear Two Solid Snake, which is what we just played, is on a Japanese computer called the MSX Two. This game was never on the NES. Metal Gear 1 was ported to the NES, but it wasn't a, a direct port. It sounded a little different. Not as good, I don't think. And you don't fight the Metal Gear at the end. You fight like a computer that controls the Metal Gear. It's not as good. So. That's why I have this command. The original Metal Gear games, Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2, were released on a Japanese computer called the MSX2. So. But you did have the NES version as well. But it's, that's not the version we were playing. <laughs> Sean, that's right, because Rose can't cook. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I know Q-Dog. It's very amazing what they could do back then, for sure. Mm -hmm. Nope, Cabot. He was not. Yeah, especially, you talking about snakes. 
Yeah, but you know, because Snake's Revenge was it was what came out afterwards, but it was just on the U.S. I think, and wasn't made by him, which that prompted him. And some people were like, "Man, you should actually make a true sequel." So he did, which where we got this masterpiece. This master, this game is amazing. Hey, Oppo. Thank you, Anthony. I'm great, Oppo. How are you doing? Oh, Alan, really? Yeah, we're actually doing Metal Gear Solid later this evening. So if you'd like to watch Metal Gear being played, man, you should check it out, check us out later this evening. Yeah, man, you were just getting started. You mu you must have just uh, called Meryl then at the time. After seeing the DARPA chief. Um, the DARPA chief dying in front of you. Do you have it? That's so cool. Yeah, MKL, I never followed that. I didn't know much about that back then. It, can you still access it, MKL, or is it, or can you not anymore? I would like to read that. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> That's too bad. By the way, about that car, is it really in one Dr. Marv had his plans in? Why don't we open it and find out? No need for that. The cartridge I brought back is Dr. Mars. No question about it. Just put it in the MSX. All right, here goes. Huh? Nothing's happening. What on earth? Of course. Snake was right. There's no doubt it is. this is Dr. Mars' cartridge. What are you talking about? I don't see anything. Here, look closer. Dr. Mars left his signature on it. Right there, it says Keo Marv. I see it now. It's written backwards. This is going to do the world a lot of good. Dr. Mars' last performance. He really loved games, didn't he? From the bottom of his heart. Dr. Marv was entangled in a pointless political game and it cost him his life. But the game he left behind will save us all. Right, Snake? Snake? Where'd he go? Colonel, Snake's gone. Snake? Where's he off to now? Snake? Snake! He promised to take me out to dinner. <laughs> Key right here in just a second, yeah. And then we'll come back with Metal Gear Solid this evening. Yeah, 1K of VRAM. <laughs> Have it one kilobyte, not a gigabyte. Try. Right. You dog possibly. Fox, yeah, we just beat it. Yeah, it's really... The music in this game is so, so good. Metal Gear D. 
because I want the D dog. Oh yeah. Solid Snake. This artwork by Shinkawa is so good. Gosh, it's so good. One save. No continues. That's pretty dang good, man. That was a really great playthrough. That was in a that was a in that one save was just because I had to stop it last night. Q Dog, whenever it comes out, of course I will. Thank you, Andrew. I killed a lot of humans, but I mean, just just casually playing through, that's really good. Thirty five alerts. That's not as good, but that's okay. I'm a zebra. That's right, Cabot. You know it. It always does that. It goes to the easy mode. How about let's listen? Let's listen to this. Let's listen to this. Uh, this is theme of sauce. Let's listen to this before we leave. Let's just enjoy it. Davis and the Breeze is great as well. They're both really good. The soapbox here in a minute. We'll be back with Metal Gear Solid 1 tonight. I right, see you, Kira. Hey, Fox, how far did you get in MGS4? Have you beaten it yet? Oh, soapbox, nice. It's so good. And Act Four, nice. Alan, so these original ones, if you kind of go through it and know what you're doing, they usually take about three to four hours to do, casually playing through. Sounds good. Nice, Fox. You're getting toward, you're getting kind of close towards the end. Hey, Wildbot, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Zanzibar Breeze is after this. Y'all want to listen to it? We'll listen to it, too, before we leave. This is one that David was talking about. Yeah, man, it got chilly. It's like low 30s right now. I mean, it was, it was 70s, and it went down to the low 30s. Freaking nuts. BJ Arkansas.
Hey, Swift. I know, Alan. It's so good. It really is so good. So, Alan, do you know much about Metal Gear? Or you just... What brought you to this channel? What brought you here? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, BJ. Well, Sean's from around there, too. I mean, he, he understands... As understands. BJ, yeah, you're wrong. Toolbox, yeah. Denzel Barland is not the same. In MGS3, um, you're in Russia there, even though it's not really like that in real Russia, but it's Russia. I can't even think right now of what they call it. Selino Yarsk is what it's called. Selino Yarsk. Not uh, Salino Yarsk, not uh, Zanzibar land. Wow, well, yeah, it's closer to, you know, yeah. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Very close to that, yeah. Mm mm. Garage and Gray, yeah, they're not. Dang, Cabot, that's stupid cold. Yeah, you know, outer heaven itself is uh, in the in the in the water ish, off the coast. Yes, off of South Africa. Oh my gosh, Alan. Yeah, that's true. There are no jungles in Russia. I know. That's what makes it so silly. Hey, Ricky. Of course, David. You live in Minnesota? Cool, Alan. Nice. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Doing that, all right. All right, guys, Metal Gear Solid 1 happening later this evening, depending on certain things. Depending on certain things. We will be starting that stream between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that would be 8.30 to 9.30 Eastern. So it's going to be epic. Do a full story playthrough of that and just milk that game for what it's worth. And you, the viewers, will be determining Meryl's fate via... Via, via donations. So, little or less, does it matter? It, Of course. But, for those that do, to interact, that's how we'll decide Meryl's fate during this marathon. So, which, which for those that have been here before, that's nothing new. Nothing new. But, yeah. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me today, for this afternoon. And I will see you all again later this evening in about... Maybe five to six hours-ish. So, hope to see y'all then. But until next time, guys, later this evening, this is Pudge007 signing off. Have a great night, everybody. And I'll see y'all this evening. See you guys.